What's going on, warriors? We're back. I told you I wasn't going to be gone long. So now I want to talk about the characters in particular. I want to address V skill and V trigger. I don't really want to talk about V reversal because we know what that is. It's like an alpha counter mode. Sorry, V reversal mode. So without further ado, let's get into it. I want to talk about Bison first. Now Bison looks incredible. I love trench coat boys. So he's got an ability. His V skill is Psycho Reflect. Now with his Psycho Reflect, he basically absorbs projectiles and then throws them back at you. Deflecting fireballs and gaining a little bit of EX and Super Meter when he deflects them back at you. It's good. It's a good utility when people are trying to use projectiles as a footsie tool to extend their footsie range and he can just throw it back at them. When you have someone that's got good reactions, you've got to think twice about throwing your projectile. You know, obviously we know these skills are activated by pressing medium punch and medium kick. Now we've got V Trigger, which is activated by pressing Hard Punch and Hard Kick once your V Meter is built up completely. That's another thing that I think is important to address. V Trigger with Bison is he goes into Psycho Power Mode. And he basically becomes a crazy version of himself. I mean, look at this dude. Yo, this character is evil. You can clearly see that he relishes the fact that he is evil because he knows that being good absolutely sucks but he enjoys it too much he enjoys the evil way too much he looks ridiculous like he's going with all the psycho power finally we get to see his psycho power man we get to see what this guy could do you know now he's got like um his somersault skull driver and all his kind of like crazy moves his devil's reverse and everything can be cancelled so he can actually like teleport multiple times he can teleport through special moves teleport through normal moves teleport behind you teleport in the air teleport through his special moves he could just teleport all over the place it becomes like super godlike versions of all of his moves bison's gonna be a damn threat when he's in his psycho power mode but it won't last long because it's so damn powerful but it's all good it's all good i like bison the fact that Bison is more of an offensive character, you know, he's got more commands now, opposed to charge moves, I'm hype about that. Because charge characters, to me, I don't really like charge characters. I mean, everyone, people like their charge character, that's cool, but I don't. So I think it's good that you can just attack and just play the way you want to play without having to charge up all the time and down back all the time. Now, I want to talk about Nash. Nash, my man, Nash. When you look at him, he looks so cool. He's the best looking character in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So his V skill is bullet clear. With bullet clear, he basically absorbs projectiles. And he just absorbs and puts them into his EX and super meter. Which is incredibly useful to utility. Exactly the same as Bison. But Charlie becomes more of a threat. Because he can gain, gain a lot of EX meter. And a lot of just his super build up really, really quickly. His V trigger is Sonic Move. His Sonic move, he can move all over the place. So he can move up behind you, behind you, or in front of you, or directly above you. So he's got like a hell of incredible movement. So add that with his Sonic Boom, and he could cause like mad ambiguous mix-ups and cross-ups, which on day one, I don't think anyone's going to be able to block. So I love the way Charlie looks, he looks really cool, his cat design, his movement, the way his V skill is totally different to his V trigger and it adds so much layers of combat to his abilities, so I'm hype about that. Now let's talk about Chun-Li. Chun-Li, Chun-Li, isn't she beautiful? The ultimate waifu next to Bayonetta, of course. Now her V skill is Renkeku. Right, Rankeku, or something like that. And she has like some kind of crazy air dash ability where she could just do special moves in the air. She can attack you from crazy, ambiguous, horizontal and vertical attack ranges. So you just don't know where to block. So she could probably do like fly kick into head stomp and then lightning legs or lightning legs and then cancel that or whatever into like all these kind of like crazy moves and stuff like that so you don't know where to block yo chun li when she hits the air i'm scared now with her v, v trigger it's called 
Rin Kiku. Rin, Rin Kiku. I think I said that right. I know I'm butchering the Japanese pronunciation of these words, but come on, I'm trying here. So, with this ability, she goes into like a crazy mode where she just concentrates all her ki and aura into her fist and her legs. So, her attacks have multiple second moves. And she probably like Ryu, where she can link like special moves and her normal moves in together. And she creates like the craziest air combos and floor combos and dizzy and stun moves so her one is probably like bison's one and Ryu's one where it's not gonna last long at all you know and i completely respect that because it sounds almost broken you know the way her attacks hit multiple times so her jumping hard punch will hit like three or four times and her crouching light kick will hit you like five times or whatever well that's not the exact number but you know what i'm trying to say so i'm happy about that not to mention her special moves imagine what her special moves will do <laughs> Chun-Li, as I said before, I'm scared. Now, let's move on to Ryu. Ryu. This character looks ridiculous. I love the way Ryu looks. Now, I'm not a Ryu fan. I've never been a Ryu fan. I've always liked Ryu in Alpha 2, Evil Ryu. I like Ryu in Ultra because of Evil Ryu. That's who I like. I never liked normal Ryu, ever. I never played that character. So, I'm interested. Now, with his V skill, he's got a parry. This is the probably the reason that I'm going to play Ryu. And I hate playing the kind of main characters and stuff like that in video games, but I, have to, I need to have that parry. And it looks incredible. It looks so beautiful. That effect for the parry. Yo, Ryu, stop. You know, so, I'm going to be interested to tap Ryu and use his uh, parry. Because it's more like the third strike characters and stuff like that. So, Ryu looks cool. And he's got another mode where he goes into his Denjin Rinke or Rinke, something like that. And he just concentrates all his uh, powers into his arms and his fists like chun -Li, But he's more of a stun character. So he could just like stun you and overpower you and break your guard and just mess you up something proper. And he probably would be able to do like custom combos like, I don't know, crouching medium kick, fireball, 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 medium kick, fireball, dashing, hard punch, fireball, hard punch, hard punch, medium kick, fireball, fireball, super. Something like that. I hope you can because it reminds me of the EX games, like, the, sorry, the Vism in the Alpha series. So I hope he could do crazy stuff like that. So yeah, that's my little breakdown of like the characters, modes and stuff like that and what they're called and everything. And I'm excited, man. And I like the way they've differentiated V-Skill to V-Trigger inputs and activations. Like, you know, with V-Skill, you press the medium punch and medium kick, and that does your V-Skills. And then with V-Trigger, you press hard punch, hard kick, and then you go into your V-Trigger mode, and then you've got your own unique abilities that suit your fighting style. I love it. I'm hyped for some more Street Fighter V. I hope you are too. We're going to keep on going in deep with E3's coming around the corner. So they're going to have some more stuff coming up for it. Hopefully they're going to bring Dudley. Because if you look at these trailers, they've been showing a lot of the London stage. It was a London stage in this trailer. So I hope it's Dudley's coming next. And he's going to be able to like, duff people. Duffnificently. Oh, I can't wait. Street Fighter V, Capcom, Sony, love you guys. Keep pushing forward, keep improving it. The one thing I want to say is, I'm not really a fan of the animation right now of the characters because it doesn't look very smooth. The game looks beautiful, but the movement kind of looks a bit not frame clean. It doesn't look absolutely smooth, but it's, the game's not even near finished yet. So I'm not judging it by that. I'm just saying, observation. I'm hype about it, looking for more improvements, more characters, more brand new characters, cool looking characters, and characters like Dudley, Armika, I hope Poison comes in there, and just more characters. Okay, Warriors, thank you so much for tuning in, hope you enjoyed the videos, I enjoyed doing it, and let's keep pushing forward. Okay Warriors, till my next video, see you next time.